now we are taking another example and trying to find out the incidence matrix, concept matrix and tie set matrix. One thing should be borne in mind that in incidence matrix you need not show the twigs and links in a separate direction. Uh, sorry, in a separate color or in a dotted fashion. But when you are dealing cut set matrix and tie set matrix, it is advisable that you can use a pencil or you can use mm, dotted pen. But in examination in IP University, they don't permit any other color except blue and black. So you should uh, bear in mind that only blue and black inks are to be used. Not anything like red or green. So now, for this example, incidence matrix. Can anyone say how many rows will be there? As many number of nodes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here you have 3, 3, 6 and 2, 8. 8 rows. How many columns? As many number of branches. So 13 columns. And quickly let's do this example. From A. Which are the branches going away? None. Which are the branch? Uh, uh, sorry, 13. 13 is going away. Which are the branches coming? 1 and 8. 1 and 8. For B, going away. 1. Coming. 2 and 3. For C, going away. 9, 8 and 6 and 3. 3, 6, 8, 9, which is the branch which is coming towards C, 4, for D, going away, 4, coming, 5 and 7, for E, going away, 5 and 10, Coming, 9. For F, going away, 2. Coming, 12 and 13. For G, going away, 11 and 12. Coming, 6. And for H, going away, 7. Coming, 10 and 11. Rest all of them are zeros. this is your incidence matrix A and so far never has such difficult question ever appeared in IP exam nor it will appear but it is for the case of understanding if you can do a more difficult question simpler questions are very easy to read and now we move on to cut set matrix very very simple you have already done it first cut set 1 8 and 13 second cut set when 2 is cut, 2, 12 and 13. Third cut set, you have to cut such that there can be any number of links, but only one twig. So 3, 8 and 12. 4, 4, 9 and 11. 5, 9 and 10. 6, 6, 11 and 12. Like this, 6, 11 and 12. 7, 7, 11 and 10. And as we have already done. Oh shit, here we go again. matrix 
and what links. Now I'll give you a simple example. Wherever you want to impart the direction, just consider that there is a person who is moving from this place to this place. This is village A, this is village B. So a person who is moving from here to here is imparted a one direction. So if another person is also moving from here to here, will be imparted one direction. But another person who is coming from that side to this side will be imparted minus one. So for 13, you have a minus one. For 8, you have a plus one. The rest are zero. For 212. Now this is village A. This whole thing is village B. So person is going from here to here is plus one. So 12 and 13 who are moving in the other direction is minus one. The rest are zero. Now 3 at 12. From here to here is plus one. So 8 is also in same direction. 12 is also in same direction. So for both 8 and 12 there is plus 1 and a star 0. Now take the case of 4. When 4 is being cut from here to here is plus 1. So 9 minus 1, 11 minus 1. Rest are 0. For 5, 9 minus 1, 10 also minus 1. For 6, now see here, this whole thing is village A and this one is village B. So a person is coming from village A to village B. And what about 11 and 12? Person is going from village B to A, from village B to A. Are you getting the point? So for 11 and 12, there is minus 1. Now come on to the last one, 7. Village A is this, going from village A to village B is plus 1, 10 B to A, so minus 1, 11 B to A, so minus 1, rest are zeros. So we have completed the cursed matrix. Now we move on to the third matrix that is the Tyson matrix. In Tyson matrix, you remember from the last example, that for the link, we have a unity matrix. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Now for twix. One by one, in the same sequence. Eight. Eight is having opposite direction. The direction of eight is in opposite direction to that of one and that of three also. Nine by four. That is 9. 9, 5 and 4. Same direction. 10. 7. Same direction. 5. Opposite direction. 11. 7. Same direction. 4. Same direction. 6. Same direction. So 4, 6 and 7. Plus 1. It is zeros. For 12. 2. Same direction. 3. Opposite direction. 6. Same direction. So for 2 and 6. Plus 1 and for 3, minus 1. The rest are zeros. And 13, 2 same direction, 1 also same direction. So a very good question we have done and try to find out the incidence cut set and tight matrix. Quickly we will go to the IP University paper and pick up a couple of questions from there. Do it. And then, then the topic will be over. This is a very, very simple topic where you can fetch full marks without too much of effort. You should just have a basic understanding. In the next two examples, one of them will be very simple and the other one will have a bit of complexity. So let's do both of them.